everyone, it's summertime at Smiles, which means it's also fly season. So in this month's video, we're going to show you how to use fly spray and fly mask to keep the horses protected and comfortable. So normally when volunteers will arrive to groom and saddle the horses, they should have their fly mask on. They've just come in from outside in the pasture, so they will be in their stall eating their meal with their fly mask on. So the first thing you're gonna do, we always know we come in with our halter and our lead rope. We've got our lead rope around the horse's neck just to have a little bit of control as Junior wants to eat, just like we all know. All the fly masks go on the same exact way. There's some Velcro underneath the horse's head, which you will undo to be able to slide the fly mask off of the horse's face. So you will undo the Velcro Flip it off the horse's ears, there's Junior. And then you can take your fly mask and you can just hang it right on your horse's stall door so that it's ready when you're done with class, you can actually put the fly mask back on. So now that the fly mask is off, you'll be able to put the halter on and then bring the horse in a cross ties, which we'll start to learn about fly spray. Okay, so now that we've got our horse in cross ties, before you do any grooming, the first thing that I like to do is put fly spray on the horse's legs. This just helps the horse be a little bit more comfortable in the barn aisle, especially as you're brushing and picking feet. The horse doesn't have to stomp so much at flies. They're not swishing their tail at you. Once you put the saddle on, you'll be able to fly spray the rest of the horse. But right when you get them out, try to do their legs first. So what you'll do is you'll take your fly spray and you're gonna point down at their hooves first. You can be about six or eight inches away and just do a light spritz, the outside of the front left and then the inside of the front right. I also like to give a little spritz right on the horse's shoulder because when they're in cross ties, the horse can't drop its head to try to get any flies away um, from right where if they land on the shoulder. So then as you move back, make sure you get both sides of the leg you can get just a little bit on their tummy as you go, but then as you approach the back two legs, make sure you get the inside of one and the outside of the other, as well as the back. So I've done this side, but I also have to do the other side. So I'm gonna go around the horse. We're gonna point at the hoof, go up the leg, then down the other, spritz a bit on the tummy, and then same thing with the back two legs, okay? So now that we've got fly spray, you can already tell he's a little bit more comfortable. We can go ahead, do our grooming and saddling, and then we can put a last minute spray over the entire horse after the saddle is on. Okay, so now that we've got our horse saddled up, it's almost time to head out to class, but I wanna make sure I give the body of the horse a little bit more fly spray before we head out to the arena. So when you're doing the body, you're gonna start just like you do when you're grooming, you're gonna start at their head and work their way towards the tail, okay? So not all horses are big fans of fly spray, so make sure you go slow. Make sure the horse knows what you're doing. Don't just go up and start spraying near their head, okay? So even though I've already done their legs, I'm just gonna give him a little spritz so he knows, oh, okay, she's doing some fly spray again. Again, keep the fly spray about six or eight inches away. Do a light spritz, make sure you get their belly here, then up behind the saddle, and then down towards the top of their rear legs, okay? I'm gonna go around to the other side, we're gonna do the same thing. Again, give a little spritz, just like a warning, like, hey, I'm gonna be doing this on you here. Start at their neck, work your way back, behind the saddle, and then down, okay? We don't have to do a lot of spray. This is about the most that we would wanna do. Uh, the more you do, probably the less effective the fly spray becomes. And we go through this quite a bit. So less is more when fly spraying the horse. If you have any questions about fly spray or if you think that your horse is a little bit nervous with fly spray, just stop for the moment and then ask your instructor or the barn coordinator, okay? So we're gonna head out to class. When we're done, I'm gonna show you how we put the fly mask back on so that the horse is prepared to go out into the pasture. Okay, so class is over. It's time for the horse to either go back into their stall or maybe even get turned out. So I'm gonna show you how we put this fly mask on 
while the horse is in the barn aisle, if you'd like, and if your horse is just gonna be in its stall for a couple of more hours, you can easily take the horse back into the stall and put the fly mask on in there. But I'm gonna show you how to do it in the barn aisle in case your instructor or the barn coordinator is asking you to then turn the horse outside. So you can do this with the halter on, as long as Junior stands still for us. He's anxious to go outside. If you take your clip of the halter and just drop it down, that's one less clip you have to do later, you can put your fly mask, oh, Junior's such a good boy, he's dropping his head for me. You put the fly mask on right over their ears. Then you can tuck each side down underneath the halter. So just make sure that anywhere the halter is, it's over the fly mask, not underneath. Then what you're gonna do is attach the Velcro. This is something we need to be careful that the fly mask is not too tight because when the horse is outside, they have to be able to drop their head to graze. And if it's too tight here, it can sometimes cause sores underneath the throat latch area. So you still wanna be able to, to fit your hand underneath here. It's also a good opportunity to use this to lead your horse outside if you need to. Um, if you have any questions about if your fly mask is too loose or too tight, just make sure the instructor or the barn coordinator has looked at it before you turn your horse outside, okay? I'm not gonna take the halter off here in the barn aisle, but you guys all know you would just slide it down over the horse's ears and then you'd be able to turn the horse outside, okay? So that is a little bit of information about learning fl about fly masks and putting on fly spray. If you guys have any questions when we start classes, just let us know. Thank you for watching.